You're watching the Coach Penny Hardaway Show. When you think about Mike Miller, I know you think great shooter. You think businessman and that energy drink. You think dad. You think about a lot of things with Mike. Pleasure to bring in Mike Miller, a man of many hats, even though he's only wearing one today. Uh, and uh, you, here you are, entrepreneur and coach, and you are, you know, let's say a third of the way through this year. How different is being a coach at this level than you thought it might be? Uh, it's different. Um, I guess the biggest difference is you got 15 kids instead of three at home. <laughs> so uh, it's just juggling that family time and, and the coaching stuff and, and making sure you put enough time into the kids because they deserve it. They work hard and making sure that everything that we do prepares them for not just basketball but for certain things in life as well so you know it's uh it's taking on a, another role that I've, I've enjoyed so far you know you were a guy that was blessed with a lot of talent i've watched you shoot many many a time i watched you with antoine jones a couple of weeks ago do this drill where you took it all the way down to your ankles and then up and then you shifted it and took it a little bit higher is patience something you just had or is it because you know, these kids don't get it as easy as you do. Uh, well, that's that's a challenge. Obviously, you know, having kids of my own that are playing basketball helps because I'm I've seen that part of it. Um, but just taking this job, you know, it took me a little bit of time just knowing uh, that sometimes you can't assume and and have an appreciation for what basketball is. Uh, you know. It, Everyone learns differently. Everyone listens differently. Uh, everyone's taught differently. That's no different in basketball than it is in life. So just making sure that you can communicate the right way to each different person. So you have the burger fries coming. Yeah. You got let it fly energy drink. You got let it fly golf. What am I missing? Uh, There's got to be something in there. A little bit of everything. I got, I got a nice underwear brand, PSD underwear. Um, I do a little bit of everything, but I enjoy it. It's been fun for me. Tell me seriously, how does your day go? Because you've got to be able to be organized and to delegate certain amounts of time management yeah. how does your what's a typical day in the life uh -huh. of Mike Miller uh, for me it's it's spending the mornings with my kids making sure I'm the one that takes them to school uh, you know my wife had to do that for the last 17 years when I played in the NBA and and I appreciate it and have fun with that um, making sure that I spend enough time with them off the court as well and all, as on the court um, but then putting my time and efforts into this I owe that to the university I owe that to the city I owe that to coach Penny uh, so just a lot of different things but it's been a lot of fun uh, keeps my mind active keeps my body active keeps me feeling young um, but you know it's just it's a learning uh, learning something new every day still I'll bet you do learning coaching learning business both and I think they work hand in hand I think uh, successes in, in life are no different than, than successes in coaching or playing um, it's creating a culture uh, with the businesses I'm in creating a culture with the team I'm here um, being able to relate and talk to everybody and make sure you touch them every day and and let them know that you love them uh, I think that's the biggest thing because uh, Unless the kid believes in you, unless the people that work for you believe in you, um, and you're not just going to say it, but you actually do it, I think all those things work together. So the most successful people in life do those same traits. And, and to me, I, I learn something new on both sides every day. So far, if there was a success that you've had with these guys, mm -hmm. what would be the number one thing? And we're early, I get yeah. that, but what would, what would it be now? Um, they're playing hard. Um, they're playing hard, and you can't ever fault their effort. Uh, we're excited about where they're going. Uh, we're trending in the right direction. Obviously, we've got a big game this weekend and, and things like that, but they're trending hard. They care. Um, we're getting them to buy in. Um, they're starting to believe. And the biggest thing on any level or success in anything is, is believing in each other, believing in the leaders. Um, and they definitely believe in Coach Penny now, and, and things are starting to trend in the right direction because of that. Most frustrating thing for you so far? Uh, patience. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have the most patience. I, I, you know, losing stinks. I mean, it, it really it sucks. So whenever you lose a game, uh, you want to. You, you always look at it just like I did as a player. Was it was it something I could have done differently as a coach? Now, um, did I have the kids prepared? Is there something I could have helped coach with? Because he has so many things he's got to worry about and do. Um, the players are. Are we giving them enough work and, and making sure that they were put in positions where they can be successful themselves? Uh, so just patience on my side as far as. Uh, coaching and then you know making sure the players understand what we're trying to communicate to them and I could get to how that would be because you guys it came so easy to you yeah that's the difference because people challenge us well how are you gonna coach kids that don't know as much as you well we have to teach them and uh, I'm blessed to have a staff like that I have and Mike Miller is as solid as they come and we're all in this together uh, to help these kids get better and we have to have patience. Well, one of the guys you've had patience with and he's really starting to blossom, the Cooks Pest Control Player of the Week is Keevan Davenport. Uh, we mentioned 31 points, 11 rebounds, a couple of blocks, he had an assist in there. And 
a real energy that I, I know you wish he had all the time. Yeah, if he had this all the time, he could average 30. And I'm not just saying that because he's, he's one of the kids on the team. He has that type of talent. He just has to be pushed hard every day. But that, that Saturday, that game, he, he showed everything that he could do. I told him he didn't believe me, though. He'll remember that for the next 20 years. We take the time out when we come back. Time for a little inside access. The students were into it on Saturday.